Hi, I'm Billy and this is Riley. Hi. And today we're going to take these scraps of wood and turn it into a birdhouse. We're using some scraps of maple to build our birdhouse today. So we started by planing it down to the thickness that we wanted. The good thing about a shop helper is she can do things that you don't feel like doing. Until she catches on. We measured and cut the bottom and the sides of the house. We then laid out how tall we want the front to be. I was taught a foolproof method for discovering the center of a board. Who knew? We marked for center and then set the bevel gauge to determine the peak of our house. We used the same angle at the miter gauge to cut the front of the house. We cut our roof parts to width and length. We then used the same bevel gauge angle to cut the miters on the roof. After the roof was complete, the only piece left was to cut the back. She looked at my Forstner bits and found the diameter of the hole she wanted for the front. We also drilled a hole for a dowel. We assembled the house with a little tight bond 3 and some pin nails. She drove home that dowel. It's not going anywhere. We glued the roof together, but before attaching it to the house, we screwed in the back panel. We didn't use any glue here, that way we can take the back panel off and clean out the house next year. What birdhouse is complete without a rad paint job? Our color of choice was pink for the exterior and a red roof. Take a look at those painting skills. It was a beautiful day today, so we all went out as a family and attached it to a post in the backyard. When a lot of kids say they want to make something, they really mean they want to assemble it and paint it. But my daughter wanted to be part of the entire process. It was a great daddy-daughter moment that I'll always cherish. If you like the content that we're providing, please subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.